from the strangest nerf guns of 2020 to a new semi-automatic pistol to giant nerf weapons, here are the latest leaked nerf guns and products. It looks like Drac is the very first person in North America to release a video review of the leaked Nerf Ultra 4. This blaster was first revealed only in name on Target's database for $15, and now we know what $15 gets you. Here we have what is essentially a Nerf Ultra Fire Strike, or rather a single shot blaster with some dart holders. It has a tactical rail on the top and a single mounting point at the bottom. Since it's an Ultra Blaster, it only works with Ultra Darts. From what we see in this video, the Ultra 4 is getting some pretty good initial velocities. Out of the 5 shots that he's shown, all of them have gotten at least 90 feet per second, which is up there with the rival line and a lot higher than the Elite Blasters which are getting around 70 FPS. However, the good news kind of ends there because even though you're getting great performance, you're getting it in a blaster that only uses proprietary ammo, is in a larger shell compared to other blasters, and it only fires a single round at a time. It's the cheapest Ultra Blaster at $15, but there's a lot better blasters you can get for $15 or less. I have faith in Hasbro that they might have something up their sleeves to turn the Ultra series around, but until that day comes, I wouldn't really recommend people pulling out cash from their wallets for the Ultra series quite yet. Here's a two second reminder to hit that subscribe button for more nerf content. We also have our first look at a brand new nerf crossover product with Connect 4, and this is called the Connect 4 Blast. Instead of traditional Connect 4 where you put in the chips exactly where you want them to go, you have to try to blast them with these included nerf stingers, and funny enough, these are reskins of the Nerf Stinger, which are reskins of the Nerf Jolt. It always seems like every Nerf news involves some sort of Jolt information. I'll leave a link to the video down below in the description, but watching it so far, it looks like a kind of interesting way to play Connect 4 that's more dynamic, and I think that's definitely the case if you have a little bit of liquid courage inside of you before playing this. So far, there's no word on when this will be coming out. Here we got a leaked Nerf product which I believe was first found on eBay and is nowhere else. This is the Nerf Bullseye Target. And the best thing about this target is it's electronic, so you have a lot more different capabilities such as lights and sounds, and we have different game modes, and also an LCD screen which keeps score. And not only can you play with yourself, you can play with your friends because of the different game modes. Even though this is just a little bit of text, this has gotten me intrigued. So right here we have reports of a brand new Nerf blaster coming out within the Alpha Strike series, which is like the budget lineup for Nerf. I really don't care about Alpha Strike, but this CS10 has got me interested. In past Nerf blasters, we've also seen this CS acronym, and assuming this means the same thing, this stands for Clip System. And if that's true, we're going to see our very first Clip System or Mag-Fed Blaster within the Alpha Strike series. And it'll come with a 10 dart magazine. Can't say much more than that, but we'll keep our eyes peeled for this. This is a Nerf product that was on no one's radar. This is the leaked Nerf Mulan Bow. If your brain is giving you some sort of signal that this looks familiar, well, that's because we've seen this blaster before. Quite a few years ago, this was originally released as the Nerf Rebel Heartbreaker Bow. And here we can see it's the exact same bow with the same tactical rail and the ammo holder on top. This warrior bow will definitely appeal to the younger female audience out there, and you're not going to get amazing accuracy or range from this blaster, but it is fun to use. A couple weeks ago, Drac has given us one of our first reviews of the leaked Nerf Rival Roundhouse, which is definitely one of the most hyped up Rival Blasters so far of this year. Some of the things that got people excited is the fact that this might actually be a better Kronos in stock form. We have the same pistol frame, the back priming handle, but at the front we have this new uh, loading mechanism which very much resembles an Artemis or Hades. You're going to have a 15 round capacity versus the Kronos 5 round capacity. Watching this video, it seems like the rival roundhouse is going to be getting those rival ranges, so no big surprise there. This is a leaked blaster, so we have no clue when this thing is actually coming out. Retail price is around $25. Well, um, this is different to say the least. It's an action figure, it's a transforming motorcycle, and it's a nerf gun. This is the nerf Spider-Man 3-in-1 Spider Cycle. 
First, we have the crawling mode, which totally defeats the purpose of a motorcycle. Here's what they call cycle mode, which is kind of like an anti-aircraft gun. And last, we have the good old-fashioned motorcycle mode. So at the back here, we have the plunger tube as well as a priming handle. It looks like this blaster is fired by pressing this one blue button. It's not a surprise when the advertised ranges for this is 20 feet because, you know, it's an action figure. If you or someone you know loves Spider-Man, loves action figures, and shooting darts, I mean, this is going to cross off everything on your list. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very annoyed at the marketing of this blaster. Next up, we have the Nerf Rival Overwatch Tracer Blaster, the latest one within the Overwatch promotional lineup. And I think Hasbro did an amazing job of making these look like her blasters from the video game. Same with the Diva Blaster, I think those two are the most realistic looking ones, and the best looking ones as well. And this blaster is pretty much a replica or reskin of the Diva Blaster because it also holds a three round capacity internal magazine within the blaster and you also have this back priming handle to prime the blaster. They put this spinning reload action right in the title and they put it as one of the bullet points here as if it's some huge revolutionary thing. In fact, it really is not. And that is... That's the that's the spinning. It's just a piece that rotates when you prime the blaster. I'm sorry, I'm just unusually irked that they would advertise this little rotation as a big selling point of the blaster. Other than that, I think it looks great, and if it goes on sale, I'm definitely going to be adding it to my collection. The release of the Nerf Ultra series last year caused quite a bit of controversy and mixed reactions within the Nerf community, and it's causing talk again with the leaks of the Nerf Ultra 2. And this blaster is a very unique one, we haven't seen anything like this before. The Nerf Ultra 2 is a 6 cylinder pistol, but it's just not any pistol. This one is motorized and it's semi-automatic to be more specific. This blaster will be running on 6 AA batteries which seems a little hefty to me. And one of the cool features of this blaster is the fact that you can reload from the back so this casing is completely open so you have access to the entire 6 dart barrel. We also have the inclusion of two sling points and also two tactical rails. There doesn't seem to be much benefit of using Ultra Blasters right now. Even though this design looks great and the overall concept I'm super excited about, there just has to be more in terms of performance in order to convince people to switch from their regular Elite Darts or their regular Rival Blasters to the Ultra line. We don't have an official release date, but it's definitely coming out next year, and it's going to be anywhere between 30 to 35 USD, which kind of seems correct for where the Ultra line is going so far. We have our very first look at the leaked Nerf Ultra 5 blaster. Just recently, Drac posted on Instagram him dual wielding a couple of blasters, and then my eyes popped open when I realized this was something that none of us recognized. So this latest addition to the Ultra lineup looks like another pistol, but it's got a little bit more heft compared to something like the Ultra 4. I don't know my gun terminology well enough to explain this, but we have this kind of handguard here which has two openings for your fingers to put in. And the big thing is we also have uh, a dog that keeps on barking outside my window. The biggest thing that catches our eye is this portion right underneath the barrel. And we can speculate this is possibly an internal magazine blaster, or maybe they're just doing something dumb and it's just a dart holder. Who knows? It could be like the Heracles. We do know from a past reveal on Target's database that the Ultra 5 will retail for $20, so I'm wondering what can they fit in a $20 blaster? Seeing that the Ultra 4 is $15 and is only a single shot blaster, what does an extra $5 get you here? Since Drac has it in his hands, we'll probably see a review video in the next couple of days. And depending on how revolutionary this blaster is, I may or may not make a nerf news for it. Where do I begin? As I was alluding at the beginning of this video, these are some of the strangest nerf blasters of 2020, in my opinion, and it's only January. Back in December, we had news that a new series was released in Taiwan, and it's a Nerf Marvel lineup called the Nerf Power Move series. Now the big gimmick about these blasters is the fact that projectiles are launched via the velocity that you generate as the user yourself. This is just another one of those ideas which sounds great on paper, but just doesn't 
doesn't work as an actual product. I like these two ideas that are being combined here. First, you're taking this idea of creating a superhero movement, such as swinging out your arm or going out for the Iron Man repulsor blast, and then you're trying to combine that with the ability to shoot projectiles based on those movements. And for a kid, that's super exciting. It's an adrenaline rush. However, the reason this doesn't work is because you're not getting good performance out of these blasters. Since they have to be wearables for kids, they can't be too heavy, they can't be bulky, and you have to make do with these very oddly shaped blasters that people have to wear. And of course, in terms of accuracy, the last thing you want to do when firing a blaster is be moving because that will completely change the trajectory of where you're aiming. As you can tell, I'm not a big fan of the Power Move series because to me, these are performance-based products for kids. And when you don't deliver that, you leave the customer feeling disappointed. Of course, I could be wrong, so if anyone does end up buying one of these and it actually turns up being good, let me know. Hasbro Taiwan also just released a commercial revealing these new blasters. Here they're advertising Thor, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Black Panther, Captain America, and Iron Man. Even though I just talked crap about this series, I'm still very excited to see Thor's Mjolnir in nerf form. I never thought we would ever see this. We had the faux melee weapon, but now we have an actual quote-unquote blaster. With the release of the Black Widow movie coming out this year, we also have two more blasters being added to that roster. We have the Black Widow blaster, which operates just like the Captain Marvel photon blast. What is this one called? It is called the Stinger Strike. And the final Power Moves product will belong to Taskmaster, who is going to be the antagonist of the Black Widow movie. I'm surprised Hasbro gave the okay for kids to have knives coming out of shields like this. If I were to guess, I think this is the knife that will be ejected when you actually use this product. Two new Nerf Fortnite harvesting tools have hit store shelves in 2020. The first one is called the Axeroni, and the next one is called the Rift Edge. Both of these are foam melee weapons, and the cool thing about the Axeroni is the fact that this wheel part actually rotates. Nerf makes melee weapons, Fortnite has melee weapons, so to create some real life replicas that look pretty darn good is something nice to see. Check out my most viral Nerf videos in the description below or in the top right corner. Thanks for watching.